Let's round some numbers and we're actually going to solve it two different ways to start with. We've got 362 and we want to round it to the nearest 10. Now when we round something, whatever place we're rounding to is where we need to start. So even though we've got a 3 in the hundreds place, we start at the tens place. And that means we've got a 6. So we're either going to round down to 360 or up to 370. 362 is between those two numbers and they're both tens numbers. Now 365 is there and we actually go one place to the right to see what number we've got in the next place. We have a 2 so we've got 362 which is there and when we use a number line we want to see if it's closer to 360 or 370 and the distance is shorter to 360 so it's closer to 360 and that means 362 rounded to the nearest 10 is 360. Now what if we round that same number to the hundreds place this time? And you'll see here because we're rounding to the nearest 100 we actually start at the hundreds place. And if you think about that if we've got three hundreds there we're going to be rounding either down to 300 or up to 400. So 350 is halfway. Remember last time we were looking at the nearest 10? We were looking at that part there. That's 362 and we only looked to the nearest 10. But this time we're looking at a much bigger part of the number line. So we need to think about whether it's closer to 300 or 400. So let's look at the distance. That's how far it is to 400, but it's a lot further to 300. So it's closer to 400 than it is to 300, which means rounded to the nearest 100, 362 becomes 400. Oh, let's do the same problem, but this time with no number line. If we use the rule, the nearest 100, we're going to start at the hundreds place, we move one digit to the right, and if that is four or less, we round down, five or more, we round up. We've got a 6, so we're going to be rounding up. So rounding that to the nearest 100 means our 3 becomes a 4 in the hundreds place. So 362 rounded to the nearest 100 is 400.